Okay, welcome to another video. I want to talk to you about something very important. I want to show you how to bug test pull requests for uh, this big bad mamma jamma known as Mutter. Okay. Ooh, there's the one I've been waiting for. So let's start with that. Let's start with bump version to 48.1. Now this is supposed to go into main. And right now, above me, they are removing the old floor. Did you ever watch those uh, home improvement TV shows where they rip up the carpet and they find another floor? And they rip up that carpet and they find another floor and they rip up that and they find a stone floor. And then they rip up the stone floor and underneath that, for some reason, there's hardwood. That's what's going on up there right now. All right, back to the video. So here's what we're going to do. This is our gonna this is this is our primary target for today, okay? So I'm gonna go and I'm gonna delete my current mutter. Well, I'm not gonna delete it, I'm gonna move it to documents. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, okay, and we're gonna do this. The most of the time this is not needed, but we do it anyway. Get clone this part right here, and we're gonna paste in this URL, okay? That's going to bring down Mutter. All right. And once that's done, we CD into Mutter. And here's the thing. If you want to get the dependencies quick and easy, you can go and do yay. Git. Uh, Mutter. Git. Doing this will grab you all the dependencies you need. As you can see, it's the first one if you're on um, Fedora. If you're not on Fedora, well, you're going to have a, a, a special time because then you're going to have to figure out dependencies. Figuring out dependencies is Messen will tell you Messen, Messen will tell you what it's missing, what it needs. All you do is you take that and you put Fedora next to it or you put Arch next to it in Google. Google is your friend and it will tell you what you need to install. Like for this, we need... Um, a doc utils okay so that's going to be one of them python doc utils number two okay and then another one is dbus moth that's what i like to call it and you'll see it right there it's number one it's called python dbus mock so those were the two that i ended up needing all right so the next part what do you do when you want to merge something well, you can do one of two things. You can check out this branch right here, see it? And that will bring down everything you need. This is the easy way. But there's another way. You download the patch. See the patch? And then you gotta drag it into your mutter folder. And uh, that's gonna be a difficult and annoying because again, you have issues like the fact that uh, Edge likes to be edgy and not fully show up. So I'm gonna grab the patch. You copy it into the root of your mutter. So right here, this is the root, and you're gonna paste it in. It's right there. And what you can do is you could do git apply and four three, and it's done. If it doesn't complain, you're good. So we're gonna work from here now. Okay. So as you can see, we're working off main, which is what we want, and we just applied two patches. So it says git question mark one main two. So now we're gonna do messin build slash pre prefix not pre prefix but prefix equals slash user okay now we're gonna enter we're gonna do all this gibberish once that's done we're gonna do sudo ninja actually let's do this sudo ninja dash c build slash at the end of that and install this will compile and install everything you need to get going now, the reason I'm doing this, the reason I'm updating everything is because of that slow mouse thing that's going on. I want to get ahead of everything. I want to make everything work. And there we go. Now we should be on Mutter 48.1. So what do you do after you fully tested something? Log in. So I'm going to log in real quick. We're going to go to Dr. Who 19.9. I'm going to log in. I'm going to ask it to remember me, even though it never remembers me. And what would you do is, uh, 
Let's check the changes. There's literally nothing in the changes, I guess. Okay, so we go here. So it basically just tells you what we merged was fix some random output freezes, small cursor HDMI issues, yada, 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 yada. Uh, improve work compiler color management. Great. And it just bumps everything up. So all of this should be updated into 41, uh, 48.1. Now we can actually check if it is uh, by going into merge requests and revert shapes by default okay this is another thing that we can grab so we can download as a patch and i can go grab this as a patch so that was 4366 sorry sometimes i have trouble speaking still paste that in open this up we could do git apply uh 4366 Done. Now we have seven patches. And what you would do, you add another one, you would do a reconfigure. And then you would also do the Suda Ninja dash capital C build slash install. And it will update everything that you just did automatically. This will allow you to have any fixes that you need. Now remember, if you test something, Okay, like I've tested this. Bam. Make sure you leave a comment. If you have issues with the patch, if you find there's other problems, leave a comment, describe fully what's going on, and then if they ask you a question, I'll respond to the question basically give them as much information as you can if they tell you to run a test run a test this is important for the stability and improvement of a desktop environment you can do the same thing with kde i don't know how to compile kde whatsoever and i don't feel like learning but with cosmic cosmic's pretty easy it's just pseudo just or it's basically make and then thread count and make install and you're done I'll make other videos maybe containing to testing and reporting, but this, what I've done here, can also apply to GNOME Shell. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. By the way, about the Fedora video, I'm not done yet. I need to get things working. Currently, Steam does not work at all on Fedora 42. There is a mess of patch to fix that, but I got to go compile and work with that, so you can expect a video about that tomorrow, unless today I have the energy. Bye.